What's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this walkthrough video of my fourth map, Mindbenders Escape Maze. Um, I want to do a quick shout out to all of you who have been watching um, these videos and commenting and those of you who have been playing my mazes and sending me your messages and uh, those of you just supporting me through using my creator code and um, just everybody who's playing these maps. You have no idea um, how much joy it brings me knowing you guys are enjoying these and playing them with your friends and having lots of fun. Um, it's been just so much fun to receive all of your guys' uh, messages and feedback regarding those slides and doors mazes. I really truly hope you guys are going to like this maze as well. Um, more mazes will be coming. Don't worry, I still have more ideas. I'm hoping Epic adds some uh, fun stuff to creative mode each week. I check the the patch notes crossing my fingers for more fun stuff to be added so keep in mind more mazes are coming i want your feedback though tell me what you liked in my previous mazes if you want to see more specific things um let me know i'd love to cater to what you guys want so comment down below send me messages on my social media let me know your thoughts um, i love receiving your guys's um, pictures when you are in the gg rooms of my map so Keep those coming they're amazing so thank you thank you thank you so much for supporting me i just am absolutely blown away by all of you guys um keep keeping awesome so let's get started on watching this oh also shout out to my friends who helped uh do a test run of this um that would be jacob ben and bailey and kyle um i appreciate you guys for helping me out um with running through the test of this so Let's get started and show you how to complete this maze. All right, so in the rift, it just says 10 level escape maze featuring puzzles, parkour, and hidden exits. I recommend a pen and paper for some of these parts. All right, here we go. All right, so at the beginning here, you spawn. I put recommend having pen and paper. And then make sure you visit Drop Night or FortniteCreativeHQ.com or check the comment section for the pinned comment um, below of this video. Fortnite Creative is new, so it's got bugs. So constantly we are having to update our codes and fix things that occur. So I know some of you sent messages on my slides and doors that you got stuck in specific levels because you couldn't jump on vines or something you just wouldn't work or um, bugs just occur. So we have to update these codes. Unfortunately, there's no way to edit a code that has already been released. Um, or delete that code. So if you go and play, um, make sure you are using the correct code. Drop Knight's pretty good about getting their codes out when I send them an update um, pretty fast. And I'm able to um, enter my information on FortniteCreativeHQ.com right away. So keep in mind, look on those websites, check my social medias. I always post on my social media when the new code uh, that that has no bugs in it currently uh is released so mac jack twitch on all socials which would be um youtube twitter and instagram um you can check any of those as well make sure you have the current code with no bugs i can't stress that enough because i hate you guys having to redo parts because uh bugs in the game so but it's inevitable anyways so if you read this here, it says, look careful now before you cross this line, there is a clue you'll need to beat level nine. So over here, we've got one of these turrets that you need to get inside. There we go. All right, so here it is. Open the door on level six. So that is the clue you need for level nine. There is a door on level six that you will need to open in order to beat it. Um, and then it just says click respawn or step on the trap and remember the clue. I don't have a way to get back up there. So <laughs> just go ahead and get on back up. Also, if you look over here, yep, you have guessed correctly. Uh, there are some paths that will send you back if you choose the incorrect answer. So there's nothing um, trial and error based that will send you back um, only if you choose the correct answer for a clue given. All right, so we skipped everything in here. There is nothing you need to do in this room in order to make it to level two. This is a complete and total bait. So if you had fun in this room, um, I had fun creating it. So uh, 
hopefully you, you had fun doing it. But um, if you struggled finding the exit, it is this way. And I did leave a little hidden note up here saying search very well um, for the hidden clue because it is very hidden. So there is a few drop downs. There's a trap right here. There's some drop downs right here um, that will lead you to paths that just kill you and have to make you start back over. So if you look very closely in that vine room, you should see what you need to do. Let's head on back up there. We'll avoid this trap. Like I said, there's another drop down right there. We can ignore that. Um, there's a door right here, but if you look, if you're looking over here, if you look up, you can kind of see that there is a door. I left, I specifically left a little bit less vines there so you can see that there's a door up there. Um, so if you go through this door here, there is a path of just a whole bunch of traps and doors, the traps that you can bait. That's all bait as well. So you're actually going to open it this way, jump up, go to this door, the same thing, open it, jump up. There's a little ledge here that catches you. And then you can just go ahead and go on through. All right. So you're at checkpoint number two. I put a cannon here. I, I know these cannon driving capabilities are like the shopping cart and it's so frustrating. But... This is a really cool new item that was put into creative mode that I was super excited to use and definitely look for it in future maps because it's so much fun to cannon yourself to another location. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. All right, so open that door. At first, open the door to the cannon. You're gonna wanna aim for about this high above the temple make sure you're straight on and that should get you perfectly to your destination so from here you got a little checkpoint it's not a level checkpoint but it's going to get you so you don't have to keep doing that again you come up it says remember these clues and the order they appear for in the future you will need i cannot be any more clear so from here you've got a chair Cash register, a refrigerator that is, or soda machine, I guess. a tent, ice machine, a computer screen or TV screen, whatever you want to call it, monitor, a um, MacGuffin sign, a new open sign, trash can, fish, camera, and a cooler. So remember those, I would recommend writing them down because you're gonna need them for a future level. Oh, so from here, you're gonna come in and try to find your way out. There are two doors here that you can parkour your way up and get inside those rooms. You don't need to do that though. The way is actually through the water. Take a little swim in this water here. Come towards this, Drop, make sure you're crouching down. And you're going to just push forward and that gets you through to the next way. I did give a little slide action here for those of you still wanting some slides. Uh, slide on down to the next level. Level three. Here we go. So level three brings you to some more water part. So I've got a little clue up there. It's just a, a diagram to tell you from here. You're going to go up one. Then you're going to go right one up to also you can look at the ceiling because i know it's hard to see like the floors so look at the ceiling and it tells you how far you've gone up and you can go left three all the way to the wall up three all the way to this wall and it's gonna be right to this wall down one this wall over two and up one and that leads you to the next level, level four. Come on down. From here, I've got a three different options for you. If you look down each of them, there is a trap below, but if you go through the trap, it will lead you to a correct spot. So you go straight through, jump through it. And from here, I do have some invisible barriers. You can get on up, jump up, 
down and then you can do that. This is a choose your own path. So I put a checkpoint here uh, just so you no longer have to uh, continue down that path every time if you if you um, happen to be eliminated. So there's different colored paths here of choices you can take. Um, I've got a choice up there here. Some of these are super hard. Some of them are super easy. I'll kind of show you what you can do in each of them. There's this one up here. Um, I have a barrier room. So you can decide if you want to take the path to get to safety, which is right here. Um, but the path is going to be quite long. Um, and then you can mark your path if that's something you're wanting to try out. Um, I don't recommend this one because it will take pretty long compared to the other ones. But if that's the path you would like to try, give it a try. It will lead you to the exact same spot as all the other ones. Um, in the red area here, we've got a launch pad area that you can launch pad through the doors. You'd have to make sure you maintain your speed to get through that last door there. Um, and, the, and in the green ring, we've got a trap area where you can bait the traps to get past um, into the safe area. So if you're really good at baiting those traps and you want to give that way a try, um, feel free, knock your socks off. You will get to the same location. Um, then we've got the yellow area here. Yellow area is actually not as difficult as some people might seem. Um, this is just a skateboarding section. You can skateboard yourself up. And hit the bouncer and you would bounce over. From here, you get impulse grenades. You do need both grenades, so make sure you have two grenades, one to get all the way up there and then another one. So I would recommend getting a few stacks of these um, to get past this level. Um, but again, you do not have to do the impulse level. Clearly, I am not the greatest at that, um, but it is possible. I did beat it, um, but there is an easier path, and I will show you that way. All right, so that was the yellow path. This is the purple path here. So this one is just a little maze of um, different path get area, um, but there is a little bit harder trap baiting section at the end but once again i recommend not going through that one the easiest one to go through is going to actually be up here you're going to want to jump up on the invisible barrier jump up on this one come on out here and bait this trap drive the vehicle that one Take the vehicle all the way up through and park it right there. From here, you can bounce up to the area up there and it's going to lead you straight through to the next level. So that is the easiest path to get here. Hop on the chart to get through that level. Um, and then here is level five. So at level five, it says, remember the order from level three. Now find the items backwards to lead you to victory. So the items backwards. So if you have your list of written down um, items, it will be this. So your cooler was last. It says what? And then camera is the point of interest located. at 
F7. On the Fortnite map. So once you have spelled that out, continue along now that you've read those clues. Hop on up here. Your options are Fatal Fields, Tilted Towers, Shifty Shafts, and Salty Springs. This is the location that will send you back to the start if you choose the incorrect one. So luckily you can bring up your map and find out on F7 is Salty Springs and you can go through the Salty Springs door. And that will bring you up. To level six. So level six is our first real hard parkour section. Um, I tried to make it still not that hard. This is that clue at the beginning that you need to remember to open the door on level six. So there's a door over there you need to remember to open. Um, there's also a launch pad over here that you need to beat this level. So all right, so now that we've got the launch pad. You can spawn back or you can jump across back, um, whichever you would prefer, or you can fail. All right, so now that we've got the launch pad, we need to go open the door over there and then make our way out. Uh, so you just parkour your way across. Keep that door open over there, and you can see there's a level nine. Okay. All right, and now that we're here, Hop on down and you're going to place the launch pad right here. Go on up, follow the arrow to this tube here and just glide on down. We are at level. So level seven, be careful. There's a trap. Jump on through. I'm gonna follow the path out of here. You'll get to this first one where you can go left or right. Take a right. That's the correct path out of here. And to door number eight. So at door number eight, careful, there's a guy that'll kill you there. You're gonna go right. And we've got a path of lots of doors and different ways out of here. There's different ways that way, but the correct way is this way. Yep. This way. Continue along. I know some of you probably will fall for this. There's a hole in the wall right here that leads you to a death barrier. Just go past that. You're going to go through the water. So there's a door here and a hole in the wall here. You're going to go down the hole. Nothing over here. This way. Just continue along the path. Jump over this wall and bounce up. Grab another level. Here we are. Take the elevator up. Fall down. So you're at this little book room. There's stuff back here that you can fall through, um, but that's incorrect. Correct way is going to be up here. Okay. 
take the elevator up to level nine. So it says, I really hope you remember to open the door on six. Now don't close the door while you're trying all these paths. Be careful to not close that door. And you'll land up here and go through the door. That will lead you to uh, this bouncer. Bounce up to the last level, level 10. Uh, search the tunnels for an item that you will need to finish. Go on through here. You're going to want to just follow along the paths to find items. Here is the chiller. Find our way to exit. Continue along. Get to this one here that you're gonna wanna go down. You place the chiller. You're gonna go ahead and just jump on across. Once you get to the edge here, jump onto that pad to get you down safely. Bounce on forward, and you've made it to the G room. Thanks again for playing. Dance in front of the wall. Send me your pictures. Um, have lots of fun dancing in this room. Um, I'm loving the addition of all of the spray paints that you can now do creative mode. Um, I did make sure to include my other maps, slides and doors trilogy. So if you haven't played those, look, look into those. Um, you can find them on my social medias. Um, also stop by my Twitch to see me making the maps. I, um, currently work on the maps almost every night. Um, so you can usually stop by and see me creating them and coming up with some ideas. Um, so another map will be coming out soon. Keep an eye out. I'll let you know. Make sure if you're not using a supporter creator code in the item shop, um, feel free to use my creator code MacJackTwitch. Um, but if you're not using me, that's fine. Please find somebody else deserving of um, you entering their code into the item shop. Um, there is a whole approved list of creators on there. Um, anybody is deserving to um, have you have them support. Um, so we as creators, I know all appreciate every one of you so much. And I just want to again, thank you all for who um, everybody supporting me using code MacJack Twitch. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, I am going to be making more. So if you want to see more, like this video, comment below. Um, tell me what you want to see more of. If you want even more difficult, let me know. If you want easier, um, if you have specific levels and other mazes that I did that you want to see more of or different takes on or twists on, let me know. Um, I want to keep making these for a long time. They're so much fun to make and so much fun to run. Um, and I think you guys are enjoying them as well. So Thanks so much for watching this video. You guys are seriously amazing. I really, truly hope you are having a fantastic night and continue to have a fantastic night. Um, thanks again. Like this video, comment below. Talk to you guys later. See you next time.